Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from algebra. Our equation is x cube minus 1 equal to 540 over square root 13 plus 1. And we are looking for real solutions only. So let's get started by writing our equation x cube minus 1 equal to 540 over square root 13 plus 1. Now we can rationalize our denominator. So we need to multiply in the numerator and denominator by denominators conjugate so root 13 minus 1. Root 13 minus 1. Now denominator is framing one algebraic form a plus b times a minus b. So instead of this, we can write the algebraic formula a square minus b square, where a is root 13, b is 1. So x cube minus 1 will be equal to 540 times square root 13 minus 1 over square root 13 whole square minus 1 whole square. Now, square root and square we can cancel. So, we can write RHS 540 times square root 13 minus 1 over 13 minus 1, which will become 12. Let us write here 540 times square root 13 minus 1 over 12 and LHS was x cube minus 1. Now we can cancel 540 with our denominator 12 so it will become 45. So I can write x cube minus 1 equal to 45 times root 13 minus 1. So, RHS I can write 45 root 13 minus 45. This is equal to x cube minus 1. Let us add 1 to both sides. So, I will write plus 1. I need to add here 1. So, plus and minus 1 will be over. I can write x cube will be equal to 45 square root 13 minus 44. Now I can factor 45. So I can write x cube equal to 45 will be 15 times 3. And then we have root 13 and minus 44. Now this 3 we can write is square root 9. So 15 times square root 9 times square root 13 minus 44. Can we club square root 9 with square root 13? So we can write 15 times square root 9 times 13 minus 44. Now 9 times 13 is 117. So we can write our equation as x cube equal to I will write 15 times square root 117 minus 44. Now we can multiply this equation both sides by 8. So let us multiply by 8. 8 times x cube equal to 8 times 15 square root 117 minus 44. Now I can write 8 times 15. It will be 120 square root 117 minus 8 times 44 it will be 352 this 8 we can write 2 cube times x cube or we can write 2x whole cube equal to now we have to split 120 and 352 so i can split 120 as 
117 plus 3. So I will write 117 square root 117 plus 3 times square root 117 and minus 352. We can write minus 351 minus 1. Let us rearrange the RHS. I can write 117 square root 117. Then I can write the last term minus 1. Then the second last term minus 351. And then our second term 3 times square root 117. LHS is 2x whole cube. Now can we write 117 square root 117 as square root 117 whole cube. Yes. Now minus 1 we can write minus 1 whole cube. Minus 351. Can we write 3 times square root of 117 whole square. So 117 times 3 it is 351. And then I can write here 1. And last term I can write 3 times square root 117 times 1 square. Now we can see our RHS is 1 algebraic form. If I will write here A minus B whole cube. Then I can write here A cube minus B cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square. So in RHS I will write this identity where a is square root 117 and b is 1. So let us write our RHS as square root 117 minus 1 whole cube and LHS was 2x whole cube. Now I will consider cube root both sides. So let us consider cube root this side also. Now cube and cube root we can cancel. For real values of x we will write 2x will be equal to square root 117 minus 1. Now let us divide by 2 both sides. So 2 and 2 will be over. I can write x equal to the square root of 117 minus 1 over 2. Now we know that 117 is 9 times 13. So square root 117 will be 3 square root 13. So I can write here 3 square root 13 in place of square root 117. Rest will be as it is minus 1 over 2. So this will be our final answer for the real values of x. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Till next video. Goodbye. Take care of yourself.